All right, how's everybody doing? We're doing a little uh, split pea soup. Now, I bought this thing to hold for the camera, but uh, apparently that's not working too good because I can't figure out how to flip the Facebook camera around, and there it is. So, we're going to try to get a shot like this. There we go. All right. Again, split pea soup. What I got here is a little celery, carrot, onion, garlic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my split peas in with that. Now, the reason for doing this, again, making split pea soup, is the peas are going to get a little bit of flavor. So you want to kind of saute them with these, again, celery, onion, um, carrot, garlic. Sometimes I do a little celery. It doesn't really call for it, but I mean, it wouldn't be the most terrible thing you can do. Um, I am going to add just a drop more oil to this. I like to call this like a dirty split pea soup. What's up, Dave? What's up, Joe? What's up, Sam? Um, like a dirty split pea soup. A lot of times when you see it, it's nice and green and, and you know, like bright and beautiful. And nah, you want to see that dark dirty, you know, chunks of smoked meat and, uh, you know, there's carrots and garlic in there. So basically I'm just sauteing um, my split peas with the veggies. I'm only going to do a little bit of salt because I'm adding a smoked ham, like a spiral cut ham, which I actually happen to really love for this soup. Um, so again, that's going to be salty. What's up, Scott? Yo, Rich, I'll see you in a little bit. Um, a little pepper. Eek, yeah, we do a lot of friggin' pepper, why not? All right. Is the flame on here? That's what sucks about cooking at home, man. You can't get that restaurant type of heat. So, this is going to be quick and simple. Now, what I did was I took the salad. Those of you who just joined, I took some celery, some carrots, some onions, some garlic. Sweated it down for about five minutes. Um, you can see the nice garlic right there, a little carrot, a little bit of onion. Um, I got the peas rocking in there. That's just going to intensify the flavor of the peas by doing it this way. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to add a huge spiral ham bone with still a ton of ham on it. Um, this is like really quick and simple soup, man. There's no rocket science behind it. It's really easy to do. Um, you know, if you have chicken stock, great. If you don't, it still works without it. It's too watery. You can add... Hey, how you doing? You can add a little um, instant mashed potato to thicken it. But check this out. We are going to add... We're back. Thank God. Look at that. We're going to add the leftover smoked spiral ham bone from Easter Sunday. That is a beautiful thing right there. Now, all of this meat, all that meat right there is going to fall off the bone. This is more of like a ham and pea soup. There's going to be a lot more ham than usual. Man. I like it that way, man. Nice and thick and hearty. So, again, I just took some celery, some carrot, uh, some celery, some, uh, some celery, some carrot, some onion. Put it down. Real simple. You got that going. Now, just going to add a little bit of water. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Wow, that was actually perfect. Now, again, you could add a little chicken stock to this. You know, if you have it, if I was in the restaurant or doing it for the food truck or whatever, I would definitely add a little bit of stock. How you doing? I am going to cheat a little bit. I normally don't use this stuff, but it is great in a pinch, and this is actually one of the better ones. This is a Nor. Let me see if I get that on camera for you. A Nor chicken base, um, which is a lot better than that salty bouillon friggin', you know, ankle swelling, cardiac arrest fucking type of base. But you see that? See how this nice and 
thick and it's almost like a real gelled stock. It's actually for a store-bought product. If you got to make something in a pinch, this is actually a very awesome thing for your house. Um, and truthfully, man, nowadays, you know, people say, ah, you're using a pre-made product and blah, 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 blah. And I, and, I, and I agree. I happen to agree. But in the year 2020, with modern technology and... How you doing? And a bunch of other things that are, we're able to do now, you know, from 10, 20 years ago, we've come a long way. And, um, you know, it is, you know, a, a better a better product than it was 20 years ago. So don't be afraid to try certain things. You can find some store-bought stocks that are actually really good. This happens to be actually really good. I don't mind using this um, as a pinch type of thing. Of course, I would make my own stock, but let's be very realistic. Um, you know, the restaurant game, you never know what's going to come, so it's always good to have a backup. Of course, I would make my own stock, but just look at that. And I would say in about maybe maybe about an hour to um, maybe an hour and 45 minutes, this ham is just going to fall off the bone. Um... It's just an amazing, simple soup. Just low and slow. Let it cook. Don't rush it. Um, and that's it, man. Split pea. I'm going to add some seasoning to it. Um, I will add... Why I don't season it now... Normally, I would season my soup now. Why I don't do this yet is because depending on the size of the ham bone... And here, let me take this off here. Depending on the size of the ham bone... And look at that thing. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. Look at the size of that. You know, depending on the uh, the size of the ham bone, that thing's going to have a lot of flavor. So once that comes up to a boil and it cooks for a while, I will taste it and then season it accordingly. You know, normally I add um, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, um, a little bit of granulated onion, granulated garlic maybe. Again, it depends on how it tastes. Look, you can make this a thousand times and this is one of those things where it's going to come different a thousand times. You know, depending on what type of meat you use, you can you can use smoked turkey legs, you can use bacon. Why is my camera flipping around again? Angora, let's get back to the soup with this thing. You can use bacon, you can use uh, ham hocks, you can use anything, man, any kind of type of smoked meat. But just take a look at that, man. This is going to be one for the friggin' uh for the books here, a hundred percent. I mean, take a look at that. You know, and, and look, let it cook, man. The thing with split pea soup is just keep it on a low to medium flame and uh, let it do it. Let it let it do its thing, man. What's up, Lou? What's up, Mike? You know, just let it do it. Let it do let it do its thing. You know, um, and that's it, man. It's really simple, simple to do, man. You know, people always say, oh, I can't cook. I can't make split pea. Oh, that sounds hard. Look, all you're doing is throwing. Some carrot and, and, and onion and garlic and into a pan and a little salt and pepper. Throw in your smoked meat. Throw in some water, a little bouillon, and that's it, man. Let it cook. You're done. It's easy as pie. But uh, I hope everybody's doing okay. This uh, corona thing is getting out of friggin' control, man. You know, I, I don't know what to believe anymore or what to do. You know, everybody stay safe. I know I've been pretty much... Uh, staying in for the most part, doing a lot of cooking. Um, you know, that's really it, man. That's it. There's nothing really you can do, man. Just, you know, wear some masks, wear some gloves. If you're around older people, please, you know, just, just keep your distance. You know, I know quite a few people that have unfortunately passed away from this. You know, a lot of them much older. Even one of my buddy's friends, God rest his soul, he was in his 50s. It's a shame. So you, you, you don't know. You know, you really don't know what's up, Nicole. Um, you know, it's just a freaking shame. You know, stay home. Stay with your wife, your kids, your boyfriend, your family, your sister, your daughter, your mother, your ass, whatever the hell you want. You know, just play low for a little bit, man. You know, I get it. You got to go out. You're bored. But I still see some of these asshole people running around with no fucking masks, no gloves on top of each other, sneezing, coughing. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. But, uh. <clears throat> Enough Corona talk, man. Let's brighten up our day with some more food. Um, I'll be doing something else in a day or two. 
I got a little surprise for you guys. I'm going to make something that's really special. Uh, but again, those of you that just joined, split pea soup. All I did was take a little celery, carrot, garlic, cook it down, threw in my smoked ham bone from leftover from Easter Sunday. Look at that thing, man. Now, what you got to do, once the soup is cooked, I'm going to pull that out. I am going to let it cool down, and I am just going to get a little carving knife and just honestly you probably don't even need it it's gonna just fall right off the bone i'll put on a pair of gloves and just shred all that ham and throw that ham right back in the soup and trust me people that is going to be an absolutely beautiful thing now that i just entertained you guys and myself for about 10 minutes i have no idea what to do for the rest of the freaking day I'm tired of netflix <clears throat> tired of tv video games computer i don't know I guess it could be a lot worse. There's people out there struggling with no money, no food. God forbid. But, uh... Alright, peeps. Enjoy. Get ready for my next video. Like I said, I'm going to do something out of control. <coughs> and, um... That's it, really. Appreciate all you guys watching. And I will post some pictures of the finished product. And here's the other thing before I go. See all that? That garlic and that onion and that carrot. That's literally almost going to melt away by the time this is done. So, enjoy. God bless everyone. Stay safe. And uh, I shall see everybody in another day or so. Ciao. <laughs> yeah.